Other things that can increase uh, or change the expression of genes that affect telomere length are meditation. So meditation has been shown to uh, increase telomere length by a different mechanism than vitamin D. And that mechanism is it increases the expression of a gene that makes an enzyme called telomerase. And telomerase is an enzyme that can actually rebuild your telomeres. The only problem is that most of the cells in our body, that gene is there, but we don't express it. Like I said, express, gene expression is important for genes to be active to do what they're supposed to do. So meditation can inc increase the expression of this gene that makes telomerase. And there's a reason why most of our cells don't um, express telomerase, and that is because um, cancer cells oftentimes will upregulate, they'll increase the expression of this gene to make, help make them immortal. So I think our bodies have a, a very tight regulation on how much of this enzyme we uh, increase the expression of. Um, but it does rebuild our telomeres, and meditation has been shown to increase the activity of it. Exercise has also been shown to increase telomere length. Um, in another study that was done on 2,500 twin pairs, um, those twins that were the most active had the longest telomeres, and those that were the most sedentary had the shortest. And if you compared the most active to the most sedentary, there was a difference in 10 years of telomere length. So 10 years of biological aging difference in the telomeres that, from the people that were the most physically active compared to the ones that were the most sedentary. So it's a pretty significant difference. If you ask me, if you're looking at someone that's the same age uh, you know, as their twin, and you look at their cells, and they look 10 years biologically younger. Um, exercise not only regulates your telomeres, but it also makes you smarter. So this study was published a, a few years ago back in PNAS, and they found that exercise increases the expression of genes that make neurotrophic factors. So neurotrophic factors increase neurogenesis, which is the growth of new brain cells. Um, and not only did these people grow, grow new brain cells, uh, these people exercised four hours a week, by the way. The study was four hours a week. Uh, they also had an increase in the size of their hippocampus, which is the part of your brain involved in learning and memory. So exercise not only makes you have more brain cells, but it makes your brain cells that you have smarter. So some other things that can regulate um, neurogenesis are dark chocolate and tea, uh, red wine and blueberries, and also uh, people, sex, and cannabinoids. Um, which are found in marijuana, have been shown. So, um, I'm just conveying the message here. <laughs>